Hello, welcome back, and good day. This is Barnman. And the Leo 77. And this is Quest Calendars 2024, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Today is Thursday, March 14th, 2024. A.K.A. Thorns Day. Frost Melt. Finding shelter from the storm in the sewers, you can navigate your way closer to the castle. Hopefully, you can do so with some amount of safety. A narrow passage is blocked by a pile of debris and waste. You must spend time trying to remove the obstruction. And we get an athletic reminder. So Frostwell can help us out. Nice. Is what role is this, strength? It's a strength roll. We can use Fari also. We we could. Do you think you want to use both at the same time? Yeah, so Go ahead and do a roll. That's for Frost Wealth. Frost Wealth suffers one health damage. But don't we do it? Nope, because you got a king. Remember any face cards is one damage. Let's try to have Fari give a little light on the situation, hopefully add some strength. Yeah. You need a spade of four or higher. Club. Paint it, well. Straight up strength, no modifier, a three. Your efforts only result in making the debris more wedged in place. Your exertions attract the attention of a sentient slime. Cornered and unable to progress, you face a daunting battle against the caustic goop. Cora takes out her cutlass and swings at the slime. That is a one, not one plus four. She completely whiffs over the top of the slime and it moves its little globulous shape toward her, reaches out and tries to damage her. 17 plus my force, so that's over 20, that's 21. Kura is able to deflect the brunt of the damage, but still suffers one health. We're gonna die. We're all gonna die. The slime slowly makes his way down the corridor and disappears. One more damage. Health potion time. Kura's gonna take it. All right. One for two. And rolled three, so now we're at six. I feel much more safer. And we will take that one potion off the inventory. That Still leaves one health potion. That health potion in the bottle looks interesting. I would agree. As you proceed deeper into the sewer, you encounter a section flooded with murky water. The water level is rising, and the swift current threatens your safety. It's a dexterity roll this time. Dexterity? What? It's a plus two. Ooh. 17 plus two, that's a 19. With a bit of trepidation, you carefully navigate through the flooded tunnels. Despite the strong currents, you keep your balance and move forward. Let's spend all that training that Cora did that was able to save her through that. Yeah, definitely. Next area. Amidst the filth and waste, you spot a small mound of debris that looks different from the rest. Curiosity compels you to investigate. This one is an intellect roll. Plus zero. Nat 20. Nat 20. Cautiously inspecting the debris pile, you notice signs of a hidden compartment beneath the rubble. With careful precision, you uncover the concealed entrance and retrieve a small cache of valuables. Gain two amber. 25. Jeez. Not doing too badly, huh? Plus zero virtue. Minus zero. 25 amber. Six hit points. Still a health potion. I said we're going for a good. Cora goes around the corner and can see the exit ahead of her. She walks toward it, relieved that she is that much closer to the castle. 
We thank you for joining us today. Thank you for joining. Bye. Bye.